Hello traders out there in Traderland, D7 here at Grok Trade. It's weekend edition, long weekend here, and it goes through Sunday, April 21st, 2019. And markets ended today Thursday, mostly in bullish territory, with uh, small caps, Russell's 2000 lagging, and so are financials. So that's not good to see. U.S. dollar slightly down, crude oil higher, silver higher, well, break even, gold break even. VIX at 12.1, 12.1. It's very low, guys, down 4%. Uh, Bitcoin over almost at 5,300 at the time of this video, and I'm talking funny because I had a tooth yanked. <laughs> I got gauze back here. Here it is, look at the spider. Spider. It's just up, 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 sideways. We're above an 8 EMA, which is pretty good. Diamonds do this. We're up, 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 up. Um, let me see. I'm going to put a, a trend line in right here. Take a look. So what's interesting is we popped up over that trend line, which is pretty good. So I'm happy with that. NASDAQ, I got a sell on it. And I just feel like it's going to break down here any time now. This is a very important trend line that I'm watching to see if it's going to break down. It looks a little top-heavy to me. And uh, volumes underneath what the norm is. And Russell's Wednesday had to put a sell on it with a big drop. Closed down below the 200-day moving average. And, and that is yeah oh i said 200 the 50 50 day moving average but we're above some of the others the 20 and 50 here or that is the 200 what am i doing it's the meds they have me on man okay the 200's big fat one the small red one is the 50 blue one is my 20 you can see that right here right here right here right here and but we're starting to drop, but we do have a lot of support here, but caught up in the moving averages. Financials are important to me. Put a sell on it on Wednesday. Thursday, we did drop a little bit, but it looks toppy to me here, guys. It looks really, really toppy. Like it's going to want to start dropping. U.S. dollar, it broke out of a symmetrical triangle, so this U.S. dollar could get bullish. Crude oil building just a high base. Look for crude oil to break above 1350 I think that they have a good, it has a really good chance of doing that. I want to stay above this blue trend line all as well. And um, silver, got a buy on it. But we're under all moving averages. That buy might be a little early. Gold, I don't have a buy on this one yet, but it could have a buy soon. It has a gap to fill. VIX, um, almost put a buy on it on Thursday. Um, but. A lot of times when you get low on the VIX, it will stay low for a long time. So I wasn't too anxious to put a buy on it. I'll just, but if it pops up here going into Monday, I'll, I will put a buy on it. Bitcoin, have a sell on it. It's popped up back to this resistance point. I'm good with my sell on Bitcoin on the, on the daily chart. Um, let's take a look at the weekly. This is the weekly charts. Look at this. This is the S&P 500. We're up, up, up. A little sell. Head fake. <laughs> so we put a buyback on it. Comes up. But we doji out right at resistance. I mean, that is a good sell opportunity. I'm not going to put a sell on it yet. Chances are really good next week. If we go bearish, I'll put a sell on it then. Diamonds. We can still go higher before we hit this resistance line. And then I'll put a sell on it. NASDAQ, we're at the resistance line. See this? We're at it. So that is a good sell area. Good sell area, but I want to wait for confirmation. Russell's 2000. Have a buy. As long as it stays above this trend line, I'll stay with the buy, but it's under pressure right now. Financial is went up, touched the trend line, came right back down. That needs to have a sell. Man, I just feel like I need to put sells on these right now. I'll wait for confirmation, but that's sell city. U.S. dollar, I do have a sell on it. Um, it did pop up. There's a tight symmetrical triangle. This thing could get bullish pretty quickly. And it could go bearish really quickly. So there's your symmetrical tr triangle. And there's your symmetrical triangle. 
go here that's right where we're at so because of that now this is a case in point why I say in don't look at my calls buys or sells in consolidation because they never work out they're always wrong but when you get a run these calls are very good they're very fortuitous they they're, they're money makers as you can see so that's just going back in time on the US dollar crude oil had a sell on it put a buy on it we're fine building a high base crude oil keep going up again this is a weekly chart silver down 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 guys this silver and gold could be by soon very very soon yeah very soon I'm glad I got a sell on it on the gold but this could be a buy soon a VIX weekly oh man man I want to put a buy on that uh, Bitcoin weekly is just up 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 my buy was back here oh um, you guys over here just so you know we have some classes we have a big class coming up this weekend guys if you've ever wondered what it would be like to have us train you for three days from the comforts of your own home to learn everything that we've learned I've been trading in the live markets for 21 years and mark I don't know how long but we have an immense amount of information that we share with our Grok mentor students to do that, go to Trading Mentor, fill out the form. We will have a chat, a talk. We'll find out what has you stuck, and we'll find out a solution for you. If you want a little one-off class, we've got some up here. If you're just the freebie type that you're okay with the the ABCs, the 101 type stuff, <laughs> um, here are some free ones down here you can take. <clears throat> Um, go there next weekend is our class three days we have people from different countries that'll be up, uh, participating and you got to be be motivated be ready to take great notes be ready to learn be be ready to be a great student monologue time a lot of times I do it this my, with my hands so when I'm editing I know where I need to zoom in <laughs> I had, I don't know if you can see this, it's gross, it's gross, but I got gauze back here. I should have <laughs> gave you a warning. I don't know if it's bloody still or not. But here's the deal. Um, I started having sensitivity on one of my posteriors. Um, and is for you, if you're a dentist or oral surgeon or work in a laboratory, let me know in the comments below. Or if you... <laughs> If, if you can feel my pain, <laughs> give me some encouragement. Just say it'll be over with soon. <laughs> say, it, um, but here's the deal. I started having this hot and cold sensitivity. I went into the doctor and, and and they're like, well, you could have a tooth that's dying. And I said, oh no, <laughs> I haven't had a tooth die before. That's crazy. And. Um, I went in to the doctor because the last few days it's just been excruciating. The pain has gone up and came around my um, cheekbone and then it had a right behind my temple like a sharp pain. So it's where the nerves had come up and it was crazy pain and it's this toothache, you know. <laughs> so. I uh, went to the doctor, and my dentist goes, Ooh, we, you need to go to an oral surgeon. So they were able to work me in on Good Friday. Crazy. I went in there. They worked me in. And, and the tooth that I thought was the problem, which had a crown on it, um, and I used to work in the dental laboratory I, back in the day. And uh, so I, you know, I had a a distal margin opening um, on number 14. <laughs> I'm talking geek language now for you guys, if you can understand me. And I thought that was the issue, but the oral surgeon was doing compression tests and found out it was number 15. It was the actual problem, and I couldn't believe it. There was a fracture um, on the distal of that one, and, and it went subgingival, 
And that was causing the immense pain. Crazy. Crazy. So the, he goes, well, we can do one of two things. You can go in and do endo, but we don't do it here. You have to wait. <laughs> or we can yank it. And I was like, man, just yank it. Just take it out. And it took him a while to numb me, and it took him a while to pull that sucker out. So now I'm missing a molar back here, another one. <laughs> I had my wisdom teeth taken out some time ago. So that was absolutely useless for you, wasn't it? it brought no joy to you or no education, no, zero enrichment. <laughs> The only reason I took the time to tell you is because I love you guys and I just feel like we're friends in some way, shape, or form. I know we don't see each other. You see my ugly mug. Um, but it's kind of nice just to share a little bit of what I'm going through. If you like me sharing some of my stories, let me know in the comments. Um, I'll do that more, maybe. But um, trading, guys, learn it, man. There's just no better business out there than trading. It's, man, trading, trading, trading. Learning the charts and learning precisely all the rules on a bull pullback. Like we teach eight. There's eight key concepts, eight that you have to follow before you have the right as one of our students to purchase or to put on a trade for that, for that bull pullback or a bear pullback. And, and always trade with a stop loss. But make sure if they're not done right, they'll nickel and dime you to death. And at one point, you'll feel like your stop losses are actually your enemy and not your, not your you know, friend. And your stop losses, if they're done correctly, are, the, are your best friends. Those are the ones that you warm up to, you hug, you cuddle with at night because they save your employees. Your employees, um, your dollars, yeah, have to be making you money, not losing you money. And your stop losses is a safety net. Make sure the safety net is perfectly placed. If it's placed wrong, you'll feel like you're just getting nickel and dimed to death. You're not making any money because you're stomping out and tossing it out the window. Uh, we In our mentorship, if you happen to be joining us next weekend, you're going to learn an immense amount of strategy on how to manage your stop losses. And we're going to give you different options to use and when to use those options and how to use them. Because it's how you exit the trade is where you make your money. It's not how to enter the trade. Matter of fact, I told this one student back is you can also fly to me here in Indianapolis, and I'll teach you one-on-one, -on -one, or you can fly to Mark. Uh, most people don't do that. The, the fees, um, I, we, you get a much better deal by uh, doing it online <laughs> With because we can uh, everybody shares the cost if we do it online. So most people do that. But there was a student who flew in, and I was teaching them, and they had this problem, and they couldn't get over the um, they they weren't easily trained or teachable when it comes to the stop losses. How it worked out is I told him I said, "Listen, how about we do this? You enter any trade you want to. I get to determine how and when to get out of that trade, and we'll split profits." And they didn't take me up on it. That reminds me. Matter of fact, I spoke with them today. So I worked in a dental laboratory on the marketing side. And um, I was going to an oral surgeon in um, Summer Dental, S-O-M-E-R Dental. It's about summer.com. That was the dental laboratory I worked for out of Indiana. The owner, big in the implants, knows this stuff. I contacted him today and said, I'm going to an oral surgeon. I might be getting an implant. Not sure because I'm having trouble. I didn't get an implant. I didn't need it. Me, it put one in later. And um, but he and there's two owners. They both come to me privately asking me to trade their money for them. But I said I'll trade your money for you, but I want fifty percent. 
split the profits. I've given give them the first twelve percent free, first twelve percent free for the year, because that's all most people are going to make anyway in their four hundred one k's. Usually, I said I'll do it. First twelve percent on me, and we split the rest fifty fifty. <laughs> Again, they didn't take me up on it. And soon after, I started trading for a, an institution and became an institutional trader. So then I had a website and an education company, and then they wanted me to get licensed. And uh, I just had to say, do I want to keep my education company or do I want to get licensed? I kept my education company because I wanted, uh, man, I, I, I want everybody to learn how to trade and trade well. Trade with their eyes open, not go in there and get hurt, but go in there and make money, <laughs> make, change your life. That's what I'm wanting. That's what I want for everybody. I'm rambling. I'm rambling. I'm rambling. So anyway, talk to me in the comments. Let me know. Did you make it? I love that because you guys were like, made it, made it, made it. I saw you made it from last time. And it lets me know who listened to me just Blah. <laughs> oh man so happy Easter to you guys and uh, day I'm doing this video is Good Friday and as a God fearing man I, <clears throat> I this is a special time not just Easter bunnies for me so anyway <clears throat> spend spend time with your family Make sure it's it's time well spent. Can't say much more than that. All right, guys. Catch up with you later. We'll see you. Bye.